Burke into the campaign trail. Um, speaking of uh, political malpractice, uh, Secretary Janet Yellen has a new op-ed out trying to tout the, quote, Biden-Harris economic success. Good luck with that. Uh, it's a piece of utter fiction, as the campaign is. They're running a campaign of, of fiction <laughs> and not fact. Um, under the Biden-Harris administration, American savings are at record lows. Go look it up. You all know it. Inflation and interest rates reach 40-year highs, thanks to their multi-trillion dollar spending packages. Home ownership for young families is now out of reach, and more than half of Americans currently can't afford a $1,000 emergency. I read a stat uh, the other day, I might have mentioned this, it's been a couple weeks ago now, I'm just, it's so sad, but GoFundMe, the website, said that the, uh, the number of new pages open to open GoFundMe accounts to prevent eviction from homes is up 40% over last year alone. We should just hang that on a banner at every uh, Kamala Harris event. Um, she aims to double down on all those failed policies that enabled these disastrous outcomes, and we are offering a different path. Um, as I explained at the America First Policy Institute last week, we have an ambitious plan that uh, will ensure that our economy and tax code incentivize uh, prosperity for the American tax taxpayer and not this despair that the other team has wrought. With a unified Republican government, we will promote investment and opportunity. We'll prioritize uh, America and our manufacturers and businesses. We'll reform education. We'll reinvigorate our energy sector. And we'll bring back fiscal sanity. The American people demand and deserve that relief, and we will uh, hit the ground running in January to provide it. Um, two, two final notes. Um, this week on the floor, we'll uh, continue our work to confront communist China. The Stop CCP Act is an important measure. Two weeks ago, we passed 28 bills to protect our constituents, our infrastructure, and our intellectual property from the CCP. This week, we'll impose financial and visa sanctions on members of the Central Committee of the, the Chinese Communist Party. And even though these are some of the most malign actors in the world, it's worthy of note that the White House, the Biden-Harris White House, issued a preemptive veto threat. The American people should know that unlike the current administration, House Republicans will not treat China and Xi Jinping with kid gloves. Uh, finally, I, I mentioned the task force. We've expanded the scope to the second assassination attempt. The first hearing will be Thursday. They've done a lot of work behind the scenes. They've um, interviewed dozens of witnesses. They've gathered thousands of documents. They've been doing the work to lead up to the hearing, and I know there will be a lot of interest in that. We have to ensure that major candidates for president receive the same level of Secret Service protection as the sitting president. We've made that demand. We passed a bill on the floor to do it, and we need the Senate to make the same demand. We know the American people uh, desire and deserve answers, and the task force is working around the clock to deliver them, and I expect uh, all of you will be tuned in on Thursday to cover the hearing, and we'll uh, talk about it after that. So I'll take a few questions.